Folks, welcome to your Ultimate Nutrition Guide. So today I'm gonna to take you through the basics, listen up, take notes, and I promise you'll pass that selection. So first of all, protein, where to get it. Ideal uh, selection, chicken. Another one is salmon, okay, so it's higher in fat, ideal. Another one is red meat, so steak, absolutely perfect. And last but not least, eggs, include eggs in your diet as well, okay? So why is pro protein so important? Because it's gonna help you repair the muscle after the exercise sessions, and it's gonna help you increase your calorie intake so you can actually fuel your exercise. Another one we have to include, I'm afraid to say folks, are fruit and vegetables, okay? So lots and lots of veg, lots of colors. Focus quite a lot on the green veg because they've got a lot more vitamins and minerals in there for you. Um, again, fruit, you're gonna need that because it includes the sugars. A great one to fuel your exercise, folks, though, are bananas, okay? So make sure you can preload your exercise sessions with a banana. Um, and also help you recover so you can include it as your post-workout. Another thing I asked is the other types of carbs, so you've got your rice, potato, bread, pasta, etc. definitely include these. Um, make sure they're not in too much of an excess. Um, more in the program about that, but just on the basics, keep it minimal per day, and I'll show you in a minute just what the portion sizes should be. So protein, we're looking at a palm-sized portion, folks, okay? So the thickness of your palm, go for one or two portions of protein per meal, so three meals a day. Um, the other one you're going to need to look at is your carbs. So those I've just talked about, so your rice, potato, bread and pasta, have a fist-sized portion of those carbs in every meal. And the other one that we need to include are those vegetables. So again, you're going to match those carbs with your veggies. And we're going to have a fist-sized portion on that too, okay? Now, what we can do is adjust, so maybe you have a little bit of a bigger guy. You can have two portions of those veggies, so two fists, to match your two sizes of protein. If you're slightly smaller, just have one portion of each. Another big question I get asked is supplementation, so here it goes. Whey protein, every guy's favorite, it is important. Use it as a pre or post workout um, recovery. Um, another one that we can include in there are pre-workout actual drinks. So these load you with caffeine and sugar. Just be careful with those because they are sugary, so minimal. Another one is creatine. This is great for fueling your exercise. It gives you those few extra reps. It's actually an energy um, that your muscle uses to get you through that extra when it runs out of oxygen. So you can definitely include in this, in, this in your training, but don't start to rely on these things, folks, because you will not get this um, given to you or access to it when you go to your basic training, okay? Now, with all that in mind, your diet should be pretty easy to suss out if you get those portion size right. Um, another major thing that I see people making mistakes on is um, including too much processed food, so cut that out. And another big mistake I see is people not drinking enough water, okay, folks? So include lots of water in your diet. Um, make sure that you are fully hydrated before and after your sessions and throughout the day as well, okay? Now, um, <clears throat> with all of those um, tips in mind, you should really be able to sit down now and plan your meals and know exactly what you're doing because what we're looking for, while you're exercising, while you're training, while you're getting fit for selection, is having consistency throughout your day, throughout your week, throughout your month, okay? So you're gonna need to nail this down. You are going to need to actually work on this every single day. Your nutrition will predict your results as well, okay? Now, um, big question I got asked last week was, well, you know, when we get to the actual training center, when we're in basic training, we're not gonna be able to control what we're eating, okay? So um, that's absolutely right, but what you got to consider is you are not gonna be working out today as much as you're gonna be working out on that basic training. Okay, so remember that you will be given a lot more calories on basic training because you're gonna be a lot more active and you're gonna need them when you're running up to this point. So whether you're training for um, your selection test or whether you're training for your basic training, you are gonna to need to control those calories. You're gonna to need to build a lean muscular body, okay? We don't want bulk, massive mistake. People come in, oh, I need to bulk up. Um, coach, can you help me bulk up for the army? No. You do not need bulk. You need ha to have a body that's efficient, that isn't too heavy, that has good endurance, has good fitness. Having bigger muscles, it might look nice, but it's not gonna help you pass selection. It's not gonna help you pass your basic training, okay? You're gonna be carrying extra load for no reason whatsoever. You think having more muscles means you can have more pull-ups? No, it does not. We often look around the gym, we see those, those skinny guys cracking out 10, 20, 30, 40 pull-ups, and then you see the really muscular bodybuilding guy could probably do five to 10. Okay, there's a reason for that because the skinnier guy isn't that muscular, but his muscle works for him, okay? He has efficient muscular system, he has good endurance, and he's able to pull off 
those techniques, those exercises for that reason. Okay, folks, so I'm going to leave it there. As I said, it is absolutely fundamentally important that you are consistent with your nutrition as well as your training. If you are serious, okay, if you're serious, think about that for a minute. If you are absolutely serious about passing your selection test and basic training. Okay, so folks, I'm going to leave it there. Any questions, hit me up. Hope this helped and look out for the next video.